sound test mic sound check hello guys and welcome to another edition of autodesk learning 101 my name is richard and for today's topic i'm going to teach you how to create a filter by simply selecting all the objects okay very simple way to create a filter all you have to do is to select the objects and then select an option that i'm going to show you later on for this uh, video all right so that is what we are going to do so for this one you can open any projects that you want so in this case i'm going to use the sample project so i'll go here um open and then i look for uh, sample files and then i'll be using here let's say for example i'll be using revit mep project I'll be using RME Advanced Sample Project, and then I'm going to select Open. Okay, so this is a faster way for you to be able to create a filter. Okay, let me open another 3D view by clicking this icon here. Okay, so for me to be able to see the whole building. Alright, so the first way to create a filter, which is uh what we are not going to do is you go to the visibility graphic overrides you go to filters and then you can see here the default filters and then if you want to create a new one so all you have to do is to select edit new and then after that from the rule based filter you can create a new filter okay so i already have a video of that now for this one i'm going to show you how to use selection filter okay so how to create using selection filters okay so let me just cancel this one and then let's go ahead to do that all right so from the word itself selection so all you have to do is to select the object that you want to be included to the filter okay so let's say for example this portion here so i'm going to click this so you will see that the system type here is supply air. So what I want to do this whole connection of the supply system, the supply air system, is I want to be included to the filter supply air system or whatever is uh, whatever filter that you want. Okay, so you need to select the objects first that you want to be included to the filter. So let's say for example this. I want to select the connection so I'm going to hover my pointer and then I'm going to press tab and then tap again tab until it highlights the whole model okay you click so it's now highlighting oh okay so I'm not going to select all of this so I only want small portion of the model so hover tab tab okay and then click so this is a uh, supply air so these are the elements that i want to be included to my filter now to create a filter you go to the selection panel and then you will see here save okay so this is the tool that you need to use to create and save this selection for your filter so all you have to do is to select save selection and then you just name it okay so let's say for example this is my selection filter select selection filter for my supply or whatever name that you want and then just select okay there you go so you just created the filter which includes these elements now, if you want to control that, so let's say, for example, you want to change that to color blue or let's say to yellow or magenta or, or green or whatever color that you want. If you want to control that filter, so this is the right time to go to the visibility graphic overrides. To do that, you can click this tool, visibility graphic overrides, or you can just simply type VV and then you go to filters okay you go to filters and then you select edit new just click that and then if you move your point your slider down you will notice you now have a selection filter here so if you click that so that's now your filter 
very simple okay so I'm going to select that and then I'm going to select your OK and then I'm just going to select your add click and then OK so it's now here so you can now use this filter to control the elements that are included in this one so like for example I want that filter to be colored blue I want the pattern to be colored blue for the foreground solid fill and the color let's say it's blue then okay then I'll just select your okay that's it so you just select your okay now and then you will now see your elements that is included to that filter very simple okay let me just turn on the thin lines because it's too thick it's showing the line weight so let me just click this all right so as you can see that is an easier way for you to be able to create the filter so instead of uh, customizing it okay so this is another way of creating your filter so let's say for example you want all of this uh, lighting fixture to be placed to one filter okay so you just need to click that right click and uh, select all instances that is visible in view okay so now that it's already selected then you can now go again to select save and you can save here like for example okay so all you have to do is to specify the name here like for example that is my selection filter again the the name is up up to you so selection filter so that's my lighting fixtures and then just select okay okay so now if you want to control that filter just like what we did here so all you have to do is to go to visibility graphic overrides you go to filters and then you add it and then that's your selection filter lighting fixture so just select OK so let's say you want to change the color of that or let's say you don't want to change the pattern but you just want to change the color of the lines just click that and then let's say red click OK there you go select OK and then select OK all right you see so basically that's how you create a filter using um, selection filter okay so it's a very um, short video but hopefully you learn something from this video if you like this video don't forget to click the like button if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing so don't forget to uh, don't forget to like also my other uh, videos aside from this one. And once again, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.